Hello! Well, there's a big football tournament coming up here in Europe. Not a huge fan of the game myself, although you are. I am, by force. By, by force of child and husband. Well, for me, it's just any excuse for a party. So here we present to you the perfect food to eat whilst watching sport. So today we're going to be cooking baked camembert, which mm. uh, you can dip some chorizo, gherkins, French bread in, and then quesadillas, great snack food for the sofa. And then finally, we all want something sweet, we're trying to make it a little bit sweet, a little bit of a treat, but also a little bit healthy too. We're going to do chocolate coated cones filled with fruit. For the quesadilla, you will need spring onions, feta cheese, a wrap, and a baked sweet potato. For the baked camembert, you will need chorizo, a camembert, some rosemary, some white wine, and some gherkins for dipping. For the fruit-filled cones, you will need some cones, some fruit, some white chocolate, and some sprinkles or frozen dried raspberries. So, dish number one for perfect food to eat whilst you're watching sport is baked camembert. Really couldn't be simpler. You can get camembert or a similar cheese in most supermarkets. Some of them already come in these little baking dishes. Peel it back, smell the cheese. Woo! Very strong, very <laughs> lovely. Pop that back in there, she says optimistically. Uh, I'm just going to make a few little scores in here. Stick a bit of rosemary in the middle and I'm going to pour some white wine over the top. We're so going to pop it in the oven for half an hour, it's going to come out gooey. Mm -hmm. We're going to dip in some chorizo, some gherkins. Yeah, I'm going to put it on about 160. So in it goes <laughs> for half an hour. Woo! So the treats I've bought is treats that's already been cooked and I'm just going to cut it into dip friendly sized batons. Baton. Right, so that's done. Now we're going to make the ice cream cones. Mm -hmm. So first of all, all I'm going to do Got some white chocolate here. Break it up a bit. I'm going to stick it in the microwave on a low heat in little bursts. Because white chocolate burns really easily. So all I'm going to do is cover each cone with white chocolate, and then I'm going to use instead sort of sprinkles. I'm using freeze dried raspberries, and I'm going to try and do the English flag, uh, <laughs> the white chocolate, the red of the St George's flag, the St George's cross. Look at that one. We should, we should enter that into the Guinness Book of Record. So for the world's biggest blueberry. Oops, not anymore. <laughs> right. So, see why you need to keep checking it because they do, it goes really quickly. I'm just gonna do four cones. I don't think there is an easy way to do this. No. I'm just gonna let them dry ever so slightly before I attempt to put my pattern on it just because they might don't want them to slide off. I want that chocolate to set ever so slightly. There we go. So, I've got my four cones there. Now, I'm going to do my St George's Cross. If you haven't had freeze-dried raspberries before, they are a really good alternative to sprinkles. They kind of taste slightly sour, but a bit sweet at the same time. Mm. And they just look just as pretty. Right, okay, perfect. So they are going to go into the fridge. Do you want me to secure the space? So, final sofa snack, quesadilla. Uh, last night when I was cooking the kids tea, I shoved in an extra uh, sweet potato in the oven, which I'm gonna roast, just a really easy, means you can get ahead of yourself a bit. There we go, that is probably enough. I'm just gonna do one quesadilla. I've used fresh cheese, but you can use any cheese really. I always think with a quesadilla, go heavy on the cheese. Well, I'm glad Claire isn't here, because I have actually just bought my own flatbreads. And then, just literally stick on your filling. So quick and so easy and you can use any filling you like. That's the great thing about quesadillas. Make sure you get out to the sides. So you're looking for like a thin all over layer really. The trick is not to have it on too high heat otherwise it will burn. You want it to kind of melt the cheese inside. Got my other top like that and then I'm going to flip it over. Push it down a bit. So that's ready. Look, if you come and see inside, it's all gooey and melty. Should be slightly brown on the underneath as well. Ta da! So, quesadilla. Oh! What timing! And that means the camembert's ready. Oh! Looks magnificent. Oh! Hot, hot, hot though. Look at that. Wow, it's beautiful. There we have our baked camembert. Have a look, we've got to place it up first. First of all, let's just get our cones out of the fridge. The great thing about this, this whole thing has taken us less than 30 minutes. So, because it's for football, novelty value, 
I've got a football pitch here. On one side, I've got the chorizos. On the other side, I've got the gherkins. In the middle, we have the camembert. Ooh. <laughs> Sinking a bit, there we go. And then here we've got our cones. So I'm just gonna fill those with fruit. So here mm. is your amazing storage solution. Ta-da! Lovely, that looks great. Here, just to cut this up. Might, probably should have done some guacamole with this if I'm honest. But it'll still be delicious. So, in under 30 minutes, we've made a baked camembert, chorizo on one side, gherkins on the other, served on a football pitch. We've got some quesadilla with sweet potato, feta cheese, spring onions, and we've got our fruit filled cones. I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think any football fans could ask for more. No, this is they? the perfect spread for, for the Olympics, for football, for whatever. Yeah. Now, are we going in? Gonna dive in. Can we? Oh man, it's gotta be the baked cheese, isn't it? <gasps> oh, look at that. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to try it with chorizo. It's just crazy. Yum. So summer of sport. Let us know what you'll be eating in front of the big game this summer mm. or in front of the Olympics. This is definitely going to be on our menu. See you later. See you. Bye. Bye. Going for the chorizo. Delicious. Want to try a bit? Love to. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. But I just love the, the polenta gives them a really nice crunch. Mm, but nice with the fried egg on top or something. Mm, yum. Mm.